Hello Aries, welcome to the shortcut version for May until June. So for those who have missed out the general reading where I have announced that I'm going on a spiritual journey, I am going to do a spiritual retreat, an ayahuasca retreat in Costa Rica. And I'm leaving in a couple of days, so these readings are going to be a little shorter than expected. I do have a he says she says spread for the month of June available on Vimeo, so you can watch that if you want to. Because I think it will be like end of June somewhere where I'm going to be putting up the new he said she says spread. So if you want to uh, join join me with my um, with my spiritual retreat, go follow me on Instagram. My personal account is Sonosh, and I will have the information down in the description box below as well. So that was. Um, let's see what we have for you guys. What we have for you for the mid month. What are the messages for my dear Aries? Ooh, I like it. I got the card of the Empress, Taurus energy. Seven of Wands. Ooh. I guess this was also something similar came out in your he said she said as well. Some of you who were really struggling with uh, a mother figure or with your mother. This person may have been wanting to keep you stray or keep you locked down or try to fight with you in regards to some ideas that you have. They don't, don't want you to leave. There was an actual move that I was seeing as well. So you may have been having a lot of struggles with this mother figure, all right? You got the Eight of Swords with the Sun card. Could be a Leo as well that you're dealing with. I have two Leo cards here. Hmm. Let's see what else we have for you, Aries. What are the messages for Aries? I got the Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, someone, some of you are really fighting for your freedom, for your independence to liberate yourself exactly i think i said the word liberation in your he said she says Brad. i am not kidding you there is definitely a need for you to become more independent but someone just wants to mother you you know it does not have to be a mom but it could be someone in your surrounding or your relationship partner that just does not want you to be more independent all right like you are <clears throat> you really want some freedom from whomever is connected to you. And I feel like they, they're doing it out of love. They want to, you know, nurture you and just like, you know, um, have like, they want the best for you, but the way they go at it might be not that great. All right. And it's keeping you like a bit suffocated. They don't want you to be out there in the open. They don't want you to, you know, Make the mistakes that you need to make in order to learn and to grow. That's that's kind of like the feeling that I'm getting. And you've been fighting this person off. You have a lot of faith in, in this path that you're taking. There's a lot of positive energy around you that is kind of like absorbing you to come. But there is just like someone in your surrounding that's just like, no, don't. And you're, you're very confused because you don't know if this new path is going to give you the abundance and give you the enlightenment as you have been wishing for it so this person may be confusing you a lot like trying to blindfold you in that and like talk all kind of like danger and hazards into your mind and you're just like confused like okay is this really the truth you know is this really my path do i need to go towards that but i feel like it is actually i feel like it is eight of pentacles You've been working real hard on manifesting this dream and now I feel like the timing is there. There's some kind of a divine timing calling you to to go towards this project or this relationship even, all right? Six of Wands, wow. Like I told you, it's going to be one of success. I see a lot of liberation here. Six of Cups. I saw the Six of Cups just now as well. Seven of Cups. Like I said, someone is putting a lot of confusion in your head. You're, you're kind of like, you need to be decisive here. You need to be very confident in where you're going or what you're doing 
because this there is someone definitely trying to confuse you a lot they're putting a lot of different ideas in your head and you you go back and forth you you you, you come across very confused even though you've seen the light you've seen the truth you've seen you've gotten the enlightenment to know where you need to go but still someone is confusing you a lot here Four of Pentacles, last card out. Hmm. I see someone here from your past though that is waiting for you to come forward but they're not revealing their inner emotions they're not revealing anything to you is what i'm seeing here yet they are still waiting for you to come forward maybe they're waiting for you to make some kind of a decision to even move towards them or not but they're not really showing that true color so be mindful of that they, they might be the reason why you're being a bit like confused whether it's the right decision to make or not but I do get the sense that if you would take this opportunity to move, and this is talking about an actual move, which is going to, could be like some kind of a vacation or somewhere where you're going, it is going to be one that is going to give you a lot of acknowledgement and success here. All right. I just want to clarify some of the things here though. I want to see why you're so confused. Why is it that Aries is so confused? Two of Cups, I told you. Someone is not revealing their inner emotions, like I told you just now. You're confused about this situation. You're confused whether you should go for it or not. Wow, look at that. The Lover's Card and the Page of Cups. Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Aries, my God. This is really a decision that you need to make, but you're, why are you confused? Or is this the other person? Maybe this other person does not tell you how they truly feel, which makes you feel confused. But like energetically, you should have felt a switch or, you know, a switch in the energies and things are looking brighter for you, but mentally you're still stuck. Mentally, you're just not sure. You're just still confused about this situation. But I feel like there is definitely a very strong soulmate connection coming in. Whomever this person is, they have not fully revealed their true emotions to you, but they will. So listen to your intuition, all right? There is a lot of emotion here. Listen to your intuition. Do not listen to anyone outside of this relationship that is trying to redirect you or trying to confuse you. Because that's that's what I'm see that that's what I'm seeing. I feel like you you're too much busy with look at that, the King of Cups. Whomever you're dealing with, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini, or Leo, they are very much in love with you. But they might be very depressed at this point and not really revealing their emotions. Like I said before, I'm so sorry, I'm just repeating myself. It's just like they are just like repeating that. That's like the most important message that you need to hear, most probably. But this is this is someone that has a lot of emotions for you. They want to work things out, all right? But it's it, it's maybe with divine timing. Perhaps you first need to make the decision on yourself. Have that confidence to know, like, even though it, it, it I might make the wrong decision and I might not be... Um, you know, I should not maybe fully trust this individual because they haven't revealed their emotions. You, your, your biggest mission is to make that decision anyway and to put the time, energy and effort into it. And if you do that, you will, you will succeed. But if you are in that, you know, two of source kind of stage mentality going back and forth and listening to everyone else that is trying to, you know, steer you into a different direction, then you're not completing your own soul's mission. Your soul's mission is to make a clear decision on your own and just stand with it, like stand fully and forcefully with that decision. And don't let anyone just, you know, confuse you with, within that stage. That's like your biggest mission here for whomever I'm uh, speaking to. 
And if, yeah, seven of cups and the four of pentacles. And the empress. Yeah, it's a mother figure. It's, it's someone that is confusing you a lot. Look at that. It's the empress with the seven of cups. As I was saying, this is definitely for those who can relate to that. Someone is definitely trying to put a lot of confusion or trying to point out like, don't, don't. I feel like this, this empress does not trust this individual. They feel like this, this, this dude or this woman has a lot of other options and they're trying to point out other options and other possibilities, but do understand that the grass ain't written on the other side. So do not get fooled by whatever this empress is showing with the seven of cups. Try to hold back a lot. All right. Try to hold back. Do not try to discuss everything with this individual because they are just confusing you. All right. I want to see what more with the seven of cups because you're definitely dealing with a soulmate connection. I got the lover's card, the two of cups and the six of cups. And if you're going on a spiritual journey or on a vacation, it is going to bring you a lot of success and a lot of manifestation. Finances and money are looking really good. So keep on working on it because you're you're in the role of manifesting more and more abundance in your life. All right. Three of cups. Yeah. Yeah. There are a lot of people around you that are trying to gossip around this and trying to blur your vision. Again, I'm getting it very clearly. I can't make more out of that. But, you know, this this person, whomever you are waiting on, is coming in. But, but Spirit wants you to make a standpoint decision here with the Nine of Pentacles. All right. So, my dear Aries, thank you guys for watching. I do have the Hisa Shisa spread. It's down in the description box below this video. And I'll see you guys soon. Ciao.